came up with a tag, thinking it was an MLG name. You know, like Dome, being, making those big Dome plays, uh -huh. big brain plays, so T3 Dome kind of comes from that. Okay, a little bit of a history. Shine's tag is very reminiscent of what it means in Japanese. Alrighty, let's see here. Yeah, I love that Shine finally went with Pokemon Trainer because he's already a guy that has character crisis like <laughs> every time. So why not just pick character crisis to character, you yes. know? <laughs> that is very true. But Shine, back in Smash 4 days, what we like to call uh, the post-Civil the post -Civil War era, mm -hmm. Shine had a bit of a rise in that era, and he made a plethora of characters, and we all told Shine, like, you know, a character that might fit the bill for you here is Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. It's a very well-rounded character. That you have your Squirtle with the percents and damage, Ivysaur with the mid-range and the zoning, and you have your Ivysaur with your heavy. And back then, Shine coincidentally used to use the Lucas and DK. Yep. I think, just thinking about this matchup, you don't see it too often because rip all the Richter mains out there. Yes. <laughs> they, all kind of, <laughs> they, all, they all kind of disappeared. But I think the key for a Richter to win this matchup is you got to get Squirtle switched off. Yes, that is very because true. Because Squirtle is that exact small burst type of character with big combos that can just edge guard really easily against a character like Richter. You've got to get him off. If you get him to 50%, then the Pokemon trainer starts to get nervous. Then they think, okay, i got to pick a heavyweight or midweight like Ivysaur. So that's just going to be his main goal here. Yes. T3 Dome has discussed about how hard it is to solo main Richter. And that's a character you can't really solo main. It really isn't. The character is very much anti-meta because there's not too many Richter mains out there. But I will tell you for sure, the character is not that easy to pick up in some of the mains. Yeah. Uh, TT Dome has spoken about how he wants to make other characters. He is sponsored by Carnage Gaming alongside players like Rafi and he's part of the ECI Collegiate crew. Yeah, all right, we got the shield pressure on already, but you already see that Shine's trying to be really careful. It's like, okay, I got to stay on Squirtle as long as possible, so I'm going to be very careful not to get any damage. But right now, TT Dome's got himself a little bit of a nice positioning, but it might be over very soon. T3 Dome is working really well on making sure that Squirtle is nowhere near his zone. Did you see, uh, did you see T3 Dome's tag? <laughs> it's just, just press B. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been rocking the tag since he actually came out. Yeah, and you got it, you, you see it here. Like He's really stubborn about sticking to Squirtle, even at 70%. If he got hit by that Holy Water, that would have been death already. Yes. Like, you got to be careful against a character like Richter. But you can see the reason why Shine is sticking to him. Yeah. Squirtle is that short, fast character that will cause trouble for a Raker. Mm -hmm. If you can burst in, then you get like 60%, and that's great. But that, you got to make sure that you don't lose your stock immediately after. That's a, qu yeah. that's a question. All right, I see Shine going to 112. I don't think he's going to give up just yet here because he knows what Squirtle can do to Richter. He goes for the withdrawal to make sure he puts the GC Dome off the stage with the axe, man. He threw that thing across the stage like it was Modern Warfare. Yo, man, that was a Hail Mary if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Literally a Hail Mary th toss. Like, that could have been really bad for him if that missed, but it worked out for him. Charizard is going to close out the stock and immediately switch back to Squirtle. Yeah, he right. knows. He knows what Squirtle can do against a Richter. And this is what I'm allowing T3 Dome to understand. If I'm going to be a Richter main, like you said, I have to know how the matchup plays. Okay, I like that. Mixes up with the grab, not continuously throwing out the projectiles. Oh, and he almost had to set up with the back hit of the cross. Not quite going to work out there, though. Yeah, he's trying to elicit more pressure with the throwing cross behind him. It definitely works out in certain scenarios, but Squirtle a little bit too fast. Going to keep bringing back around. Almost got the edge guard there with Ivysaur. Not quite going to work out mm, there. Yeah, good parry there, especially on the cross. He saw how Sinatra tried to sneak in the Razor Leaf. Nice. I do like the fact that he kind of switched to Ivysaur. The Squirrel did not play out too well here. Ivysaur is going to have to help me out in the mid range. Yeah, now he's switching off to the heavy, though. He's looking for, to get an immediate kill. Otherwise, like, Richter versus heavies is not a very pretty time. Yeah. Yep, that's it. It's that. just so difficult because you're such a big body, you're going to get hit by holy water eventually, you know? That's an opportunity where we talked about earlier how a lot of the players in the beginning of our, of our commentary run, we saw them jump out of disadvantage here, but that was an opportunity I kind of wanted to see jump out of disadvantage. Charizard does have multiple jumps. Mm -hmm. Oh, he kind of hit himself with the holy water, but he's still in it. Oh, he just caught him out of the switch as well. All right, let's see. Yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping all of the Pokemon at bay. It's not just the Squirtle, it's all of the Pokemon having a difficult time navigating around these projectiles. Even with these parries, not enough range or speed for Charizard to really do anything about it. Nice. Goes for a little bit of an empty hop, gets the back, but unfortunately <laughs> he got caught on that one. That's going to be the raw side of from Charizard. He couldn't finish off the stock there. And the confirm off the Holy Water T3 Dome with game one in the hands. Yeah, that's... Uh... 
That was just difficult to be in. Charizard yeah. is, uh, I mean, he, he did that side B. He was able to close out the stock, but it's really difficult to get in against a good Richter. You got to play like a super fast character. And like I said, the Squirtle may not have enough tools. You might have to switch to something else. Yeah, she made a little bit of thought here. I could see him going DK just because I know how much he can do with the character. I mentioned it, how back in Smash 4, and even in this game, he did start off with Lucas DK. Two out of, two out of three of the characters that already fit the bill for a PT range. Going to Kalos, Pokemon League here. He, there's a little bit of an area to cover here on the stage. We'll see what Shine is going to keep on here with Squirtle starting off. Yeah, doesn't want to switch to Lucas or what other character? Like DK. DK, DK. Yeah, definitely not DK. <laughs> That's a He's got a K rule too. It kind of sounds like K rule back in MSN this week. Yeah, def de definitely don't want to do that either. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, but here we go. Let's see. Going to Kalos. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about the stage. You gave, you're just giving Richter a wider space to control. So I'm, I'm kind of not feeling it. But you know, it's Genie's counter pick. He knows a lot more than I do. So who knows? Right. If you're picking this, this is a counter pick. You have to demonstrate why. And so far right now, T3 Dome is demonstrating Machina. You know what? You got, I got you at 65. One confirm with Squirtle being a top five like character in the game. This could be Curtains on stock one. Yo, that was so good. Actually, he got hit by Water Gun, and as he was flying out, he threw down Holy Water in the air. That way, it stopped Squirtle from trying to come in. And right now, Dome has not been hit so far. Yeah. Looking very nice so far. My man, Machina holding on to the Mad Cat's controller from 2008. I don't know what that's supposed to be saying. Oh, because he's oh he's not playing the game. Got it, got it, got <laughs> it, got it. I was like, where is he going with this one? Like, okay, okay, got it. All right. Ma Bang Mad Cat's controllers in 2008, man, was not Oh, fun. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Okay, no back throw set up there. Yeah, just in a really difficult spot right now. Just, just playing for Charizard in general against, like, like a zoner is pretty tough. It is. Spot it is. to be in. Like, let's be real here. But that's one thing that Shane kind of needs. There's that extra weight to survive. The problem that you also trade in is you have a big extra hitbox. Yep. I'm sorry, her box. Nice. There's the cross here that's going to allow Shane to have to pick a platform to land on. Trying to go for a space backup, but he doesn't get it just quite yet. Nice. He has to go for that to be able to come back on stage. Death. Yep. Doesn't even need the force match. Just gets a forward tilt, gets a tipper. That's going to be it. There we go. Squirtle's back in the action here. Let's see if he can try and close out the stock. Hopefully he's not ah. too little too late. He tried to go for a down tilt. Yeah, no uh, tech chase scenario there. He's just going to be able to land back on the stage on his feet. Mm -hmm. Didn't yeah. send into tumble yet. And yeah, I was going to say, early in the percents, it will send you into tumble. Get a jab reset. Get a lot of momentum out of it, too. All right, Shinai trying to play that slow, methodical game alongside Rick. He knows if I have to, if he's going this pressured against me, I have to kind of play a little bit at the same pace. Mm -hmm. I can't just go in. Yeah. Ooh, that was very nice. Just plain old forward smash. Just catches the the frame invincible or vulnerability on the neutral getup there. And I think we got to really, really respect the way T3 Dome's playing. Like, I know it's like just press B, whatever, like Richter. But the way he's been able to control when he's in advantage too, using the projectiles, not only to keep away, but once he gets advantage too, it got him on the platform, he can control and limit his options and how he gets back to the stage. That's a very big key factor that's making him an excellent Richter right yes. now. He is kind of one of the last of the Richter means. The last of a dying breed, as one could say. Yeah, there's like one or two left. We got Hugh, and we got him, and that's about it, really. Fourth and I throw? Do, okay. Yeah, and I do like the fact that T3Dom still keeps up with the character. He knows, you know what, this character has done a lot for me. It's what got me PR. When you're thinking about matchups here, there's a lot of anti-meta things to be had, and Richter very film very much feels like an anti-meta. You kind of have to yeah. be careful against characters like Wolf and Paladina. Mm -hmm. I think that... Oh, that was nice. The that, setup from the cross into Axe. That was good. That looked like the Call of Duty 2012 like, highlight reel when you throw the throwing knife across the screen. Yeah. I think that 